Hello, Leslie here from Message in a Fold. It has been quite a while since I've done anything on any social media. And I am I think I'm about finished with all of my treatments. Oh man, I hope so. I have been undergoing radiation since the last week in March and let me tell you of all of the things that I've gone through this has been the worst this is really this has been really bad um, I was told that I would be uh, I would have a lot of fatigue and I do I this body of mine and yours is amazing. Uh, it, the stuff that it will take and keep going is just amazing to me. Well, the fatigue that I'm having, the radiation that they're doing, it it's it's killing the rest of the cancer in my where my mastectomy is and where my lymph nodes are so while it's doing that it's damaging other tissue as well so when the treatments are over with then my body is immediately going into damage control and it's trying its best to heal me and so then I go the next day I go every day five days a week and I am starting my sixth week this will be Thursday will be the last day of the massive treatments and then Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, they're going to just go along the scar line. So, hey, as with everything else, I'm going to show you the results of the treatment on my body. Joe went through radiation treatments for his prostate cancer, and he didn't have any problems. I mean, he had a little fatigue, but he didn't have a lot of fatigue. And uh, he went five days a week for nine weeks, I think. And he really didn't have much trouble. So I figured, hey, boom, boom, this is going to be a breeze. Nope, not this time. The following will be some graphic images that are not suitable for everyone. So, you know, be be prepared. It's kind of gross. Uh, it's unsettling. It's not terribly gross. So, if you want to skip at this point, then I'm going to put the time to go to here in this area between my fingers. You can jump to that timeline and then just watch the radiation treatment itself, the big machine. So, all right, are you ready? You can hide your eyes and then you can peek through your fingers if you want to. Uh, but if you're squeamish at all, then head on over. Okay, this is my mastectomy scar here. And this little bit has fluid in it. Most of it has gone down. My... Uh, surgeon tells me that they call this a dog ear and I have some fluid back here. The radiation is from here 
on my sternum and down to here and then it goes all the way back there and the the radiation I'm getting some burns as you can see it's pretty red and it's pretty irritated and and then I have a nasty burn right there and that thing hurts pretty bad and it's the treatments go all the way up my neck to get all of my lymph nodes anyway the fatigue is so bad that I have trouble concentrating and thinking I am on a kind of a a special not a I I am on a diet that is ow 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 uh, fruits heavy heavy in fruits and vegetables and then lean meats so you know a lot of water um, I do I do a smoothie almost every morning that has some kind of fruit in it and kale and spinach and yogurt and milk and uh, and then the slim fast powder and berries strawberries or blueberries or something and then I'll alternate it some days that it's just spinach and and some days it's just fruit so I don't get an overabundance of the kale and spinach stuff so it's not doing its job um, but I'm I'm really trying to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables to help my body heal in this process and also I've been going to a gym that's close to my house called 10 gym so you know 10 gym so for ten dollars a month then I can go and I've been spending 45 minutes a day 30 no about 40 minutes a day on the treadmill and and then I come home <sighs> the first few days man that was that was really rough it was very hard <laughs> but I'm I'm used to it now and I've been going for I think this is my third week so I go Monday through Saturday and then I don't do anything on Sunday um, I'm trying to do some adulting you know like clean my house do some paperwork get in here in my craft room and get it sorted and sometimes that's just almost too much for me so yeah I end up in my recliner taking a two-hour nap and then I get up and do a little bit of something so everything not just you guys but everything has kind of gone by the wayside oh, this treatment is just about over with all right so now is I'm gonna show you I have some video footage of my actual radiation treatment and so that's what's happening in my life
they have more tissue to go through. But because we're your chest wall, then we do this every other day so that that bead does not go too deep.
Roberta, Whispers from the Past, and Diane Simpkins, I have your packages. I have received them. I have not been on Facebook uh, ay, 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 for over a month. I haven't been here for a long time. I haven't been anywhere on any social media, so I have not been able to thank you, Roberta and Diane, uh, for your packages. I hope to be able to open them on camera here in a little bit. I'm getting a headache and this is what starts the the crash and burn. It is about 1 30 in the afternoon. My treatments are at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah so about 2 o'clock, 1 30, 2 o'clock, bang. That's it's over. The day, the day is done. So, all right. Okay. All right. This journey is about over with. And I hope to be able to get back to my old self and get some stuff done. Get back to doing videos. I'm told that it's a couple of weeks after the final radiation treatment when I will be feeling myself again. So it, at this point, it will be near the end of May. Uh, but I will try to make more of a presence in, in other areas so you know that I'm still around and so that you know that I still totally appreciate every one of you all of your love and support and your prayers and your encouragement. You are all, all so very special to me. This is Leslie from Message in a Fold, letting you know that I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Bye.